Sopino Normal Raj. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the ASUS X-Series X540 LJ. This laptop is a lightweight to go laptop. At 1.9 kgs, it is lighter than all of my MacBooks. This laptop also has Sonic Master technology, which is a mixture of good speakers and sound tuning. This makes listening to audio an all around good experience. The review of the laptop will go like this. There are five main categories. The speed, in which we take a look at the hardware in the laptop and compare it to other laptops and devices. The screen, in which we look at the laptop screens and compare it to other devices. The I.O., which is short for inputs and outputs. In this category, we will be looking at the ports. The controls, in which we look at the keyboard and trackpad that the laptop comes with. The price, in which we talk about the price I bought it and can sell it for. Each of the categories is rated out of 10. After all of the categories, we take all things into consideration and give it a final score out of 50. Let's begin. The ASUS X540 LJ has an i5-5200U which is clocked at 2.2 GHz. This CPU is fast to load things as it is a quad-core CPU. I know most people don't really care about the specifications, so I'm just going to try to um, make it easier to understand. Alright, imagine a person with two legs. They are the dual core processor. They're fast, light and small, easy to put in a car. Imagine the car being the laptop. Now imagine a horse or like a dog, right? A dog. Four legs can last longer than running. Dogs, harder to put in laptops. If you can fit a dog in the car, the car supposedly has more uses as you can fit a dog in it. It's big enough to fit a dog. That's what the point is. Um, the ASUS X540 LJ also has 8GB of RAM, usually more RAM the better. On this machine, you're unable to add more RAM, which is a con. The laptop comes with a dedicated GPU by the name of NVIDIA GeForce 920M, 1GB. This GPU isn't that much better from the integrated GPU. You can run CPU heavy games such as CSGO, Portal, Cuphead, something like that and simple 3D animations and yeah. To understand this comparison, imagine a car with a normal engine, you know, one's fine, works, it works for most things. The dedicated GPU, which isn't really that good, is more of an intake sort of thing. Makes the engine faster, makes the car faster, which is better. Last but not least, the hard drive. This particular laptop doesn't have the best option you could have picked, but um, the hard drive isn't that bad. It's a one terabyte Seagate drive that runs at 5,400 RPMs, revs per minute. You can also get uh, better options such as um, a one terabyte hard drive with 7,000 revs per minute or 7,200 revs per minute, or even a two terabyte hard drive that is at 5,400 RPM. Generally, for hard drives, the bigger the number, usually the better. The more the RPM, the better. The bigger the size, the better. That's how it works. The good thing about this laptop is you can replace the hard drive pretty easily. The screen on this laptop isn't much. It has a typical resolution of 1920 by 1080 and is locked at 60 hertz. The viewing angles aren't bad either, as you can mostly see the screen on any angle the hinge or U are at. Most websites that stream video usually run at 60 FPS or 30 FPS, meaning the screen is perfectly compatible with those websites. An example of these websites would be Netflix or YouTube. This laptop has a large variety of ports to plug into. They go from the basic 3.5mm headphone slash microphone jack to a VGA port. The laptop has a USB-C port, a USB 2 port, and a USB 3.0 port, a LAN port, an HDMI port, and a VGA port, and the headphone jack we talked about earlier. This means that if all the ports are used, not only can it run two other monitors at the same time, 
but it can also have a mouse, a keyboard, a pair of headphones, be connected directly with the Wi-Fi router, and be connected to your phone. This also means that without using dongles, you can have a good experience working and gaming anywhere you like. The laptop here comes with a keyboard and a mouse trackpad built into it. These are pretty normal on a laptop. There isn't anything special about them. They just get the job done. If I go into detail, the keyboard is more ergonomic by ASUS standards because it uses chiclet style keys and is full sized. The trackpad has ASUS smart gesture input, meaning that if you use more than one finger, more stuff happens. Kind of expected off a laptop, but I guess it's a feature. Now, the price. We got this laptop for $485. That was when the laptop was second hand. The hardware in a computer depreciates at about 2% every week. This doesn't really affect the resale value of the laptop very much, but it does mean that laptop can only be sold at a lower price than off retail. If you were to really sell this bad boy on sites like TradeMe or eBay, then the price of this laptop would be around $360. You can sell it for higher or lower, uh, but uh, it would remain pretty close to uh, the price of $360. We even went to cash counter to see how much we could sell this thing for. The max they would give us is $150. In conclusion, the laptop is not bad. For the people that just browse the internet, write, edit basic and simple videos and audio, or play simpler games on the go, an overall rating out of 50. That was the ASUS X Series X540 LJ. Have a great day.